Hi, I'd like to sign my son up for this fall. He's actually, he's one. So we're looking for micro, mini, mite, minor. But if, if he could play up and play micro, mini, mite, major, that'd be ideal. The lowest you go is mini mites? What? So let me get this straight. You guys don't offer micro, mini, mite, major, or minor. I've called every organization in town. No one has any micro, mini, mite, majors or micro, mini, mite, minors. I'm trying to get my baby to the NHL. All right, thanks for nothing. All right, buddy. That's the third organization I've called that doesn't have a micro mini mite program. I know, it's kind of ridiculous, but we're here. We got the cameras, we got the gear. So I'm thinking we make a tutorial video on how to dress your baby goalie. Yeah. All right, let's get started, okay, buddy? You ready? Twirl your stick one more time? Okay, now you're ready. All right, over here, bud. You set up right next to daddy. So we got your pads, you got your goalie bag. Here's your twig. Next thing you wanna do is empty out your bag. Your bag is full of your gear. The gear is what you put on your body. Okay, put your blocker here, chest arm protector. These are daddy's pants. Maybe next time you play hide and go seek with mom, how funny would it be if you just hide in here? If you hide in here next time you play hide and go seek with mom, she's never gonna find you and it would be hilarious. Where's legend? Where's that hockey legend? I can't see him. <gasps> Yes. Let's get back to it. Okay, this is a chest protector. You put it on your chest and it protects you from pucks. These are daddy's skates. And check these out, buddy. This is why people think daddy looks like Batman. The blades are sharp, so I'm not gonna hand them to you just yet. I'm not an idiot. Cover your mouth, that's rude. Check these out, bro. So sick, right? Okay. This is the most important piece of equipment daddy has. Without this, you wouldn't be here. I almost forgot. This is the glove. This goes in your hand, and this is for windmilling. This is my pride and joy. I mean, sorry, you're my pride and joy. Look at this. This is worth more than mommy's car. So they don't make them in baby size yet. A lot of gear they don't make in baby sizes, which is absurd, but if you're resourceful, if you're resourceful, you can do internet searches and find stuff. And that brings me to my next thing. Yep, buddy, you can play with that masterpiece if you'd like, just be careful. Custom equipment. Now, you think I just went and got my baby custom gear just because I'm like a nice, amazing dad? That's kind of true, but he earned it. If you check out my last video, he cut the grass, he did weed whacking, he did dishes, he did mopping. He was Cinderella, basically. And instead of getting slippers or whatever she got, he got a sick custom set. Don't church me for spoiling my kid. He earned every inch of these. And I, speaking of, I think they're, I think these are eight plus twos. So we have a little bit of, of a thigh rise. These are the Hyperlite twos. These are the Hyperlite point twos. You guys are learning a lot today. He did a single break, no crazy modifications. He really liked the Velcro straps as opposed to the leather. He decided to do a clip here for a bootstrap because he doesn't want his pad to over rotate when he goes down. And it especially helps when he goes into reverse on those mini nets, but nothing crazy with the pads. They're almost stock, it's just custom colors so he can match the greatest BHL goalie of all time. It's really important that your kid's knob looks sick. So I've got like blue cloth tape, or sorry, my bad. Blue sponge tape, and then I've got the red cloth tape to just make it pop. When all the sticks are by the rack in the locker room, you want yours to look the coolest, that's really important. You can see these are custom, if you could make sure you get that. And then this is also, this is not Sharpie, this is custom, these are made in the factory. You want this one? Show them how you play the puck. Sick, that, see that toe drag, that was nasty. Now we're gonna move on. That's a cool Bauer goalie bag you got. So once again, Junior wanted to make sure he had really similar mods to Daddy. So we have matching skate lace pockets. We have the same brake. Brake is how the glove closes. Um, you put it inside, he's got the same ex internal straps. The only difference is he doesn't have these straps because his hand is the size of a baby's, which means you can't fit the straps. But other than that, yeah, show him your glove, dude. Break that thing in. Other than that, 
it's virtually the same thing. KBG on the initials, and then we've got KBG Junior on the initials here. And last but not least, a lot of people say a blocker's a blocker. And that's one of the dumbest things I've ever heard. A blocker is not just a blocker. A blocker is your shield. It's your everything on the one side of your body as far as keeping elevated pucks out of the net. Look at this bad boy. We just have a little bit of curve at the top. We make sure we have plenty of padding on the inside and he has his fingers nice and protected just in case those pucks right up the shaft. You know, when kids are taking slap shots in tight, he's got the padding there to, to, to handle it. Where's my blocker just for comparison? As you can tell, it's the exact same thing. His hand is kind of right in the middle. Mine is a little lower. So we learned that he likes it, his hand to kind of be in the middle, helps give him a little more balance and control. It's something we figured out when we were playing mini nets and mini sticks. It's so important that your kid looks good. And so getting custom goalie gear for your baby is pretty crucial if you want them to play in the NHL. Right, buddy? I'm gonna tell you quietly, so maybe the cameras may or not may or may not hear this, but your equipment matches daddy's. So that means it's a lot of responsibility. Basically what I'm saying is don't embarrass me when you're on the ice. Like you have to be the best micro mini might major in town. And I know you're still a minor, but I think I might lie about your birth year so that you play with kids a year older than you. That's what like a lot of the people who make it to the NHL, they're like nuts and they make their kids play up a birth year. So I think we're gonna do this. I think we're gonna do that same thing. All right, you guys are learning so much about hockey, how to raise a baby goaltender, how to fit a baby goaltender. You ready to put your pads on? He's ready. You're gonna have a seat on the bench. Yeah. By that, I mean you're gonna sit on daddy's yeah. lap. So we're gonna put this pad on first. You always put your right stuff on first. I don't know why. It's like what the hockey god said to do. Yeah. Exactly. Good, oh my gosh, these fit perfect. Yeah. Like I said, these are eight plus twos, so it's a perfect thigh rise, and when he goes down the butterfly, it's gonna be a perfect seal, no five hole. Yeah. I agree. Okay. Yeah. You ready to show people? So that's how you put on your baby's leg pads. I almost forgot his bootstrap. That would be ridiculous. So we got his pads on here. Now we put your catch glove on. You put the catch glove on their hand and then they catch pucks with it. Okay, hold on. You gotta make sure your hat's on still so you look cool, bro. So. We know how to fit leg pads on. You got that glove goes on there and that's for windmilling, okay? Now, last is, yeah, we don't need that hat. Get it out of here, the blocker. And then you go blocker safe, blocker safe, blocker safe. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. I know what you're thinking. Why aren't you on the ice ripping pucks at them? It's a good question. They don't make skates for babies, but I have some on the way. They don't make goalie masks for babies, but we ordered a cup. That's what I'm saying. We ordered a custom one. I think that's about it. I'm sorry, buddy. Did you want to talk? You can tell him. You want to tell him? Glove goes on the glove hand, blocker goes on the uh, blocker hand, leg pads go on the legs, and then you just go out there and just tell your kid to be good. My kid's just genetically, naturally good, so it's like not really stressful. I just kind of like know he's gonna go out there and do his thing. Hopefully you guys learned a thing or two. If you want your kid to make it, get him custom gear, but don't spoil him, make him earn it. I mean, how awesome is this? It doesn't get much better than that. You trying to go out on the ice, buddy? You trying to go out on the ice? Yeah. Thanks for watching guys. I think the next steps is, well, getting him out on the ice, start the training. I'm gonna get him a private skating coach, a private goalie coach, me obviously. And then I'm gonna start calling organizations. I gotta figure out this micro, mini mite, major, minor thing. No one has it yet. Everyone says they go down to mini mites and it's 6U and I'm like, there's so many one and two and three and four, and even five year olds in the C that could be making it to the NHL that aren't because of you guys. So if I have to start my own, micro mini might major micro mini might minor division i'm going to i'm gonna do anything for him to get him to the show right buddy he didn't say it but he was thinking it stay tuned for what comes next